Ah, yes, yes, yes. Get the slow clap ready, Socky. Come on, bring the field in. Let's go. <laughs> He's here. Resorts World, Las Vegas. The man is there. Two and a bit days Whoa. in Vegas. Here he comes from the Ram Weekend. Brian Fletcher, come in. Yeah, yes, boys. How are we going? How are we going? <laughs> okay. I'm live from downtown Boulevard. I'm on the corner of uh, the Boulevard and some up the joint. And there's a strip joint on every corner. It's like heaven for adults. It's like you'd love it. <laughs> it's 8, 8, 8, 30 p.m., right? So, which is breakfast time, really, over there in Vegas. How are you surviving, Fletch? Yeah, tough day yesterday, sugar. It's a long day. So we landed at 6 a.m. because yeah. we had the oh, – I got in trouble on the fly, by the way. Oh. I spilt red wine on the sports minister who was asleep <laughs> in business class. I went up for a bit of a chat to the great Buzz Rothfield. Yeah. Um, so I think he's pulling the funding from rugby league. This boat, but he said, uh, we had a flight, direct flight. We're on the charter flight, which was very – it was good. It was like all the fans were quite – uh, excited as you imagine and we landed at 6 a.m in vegas and we just thought we made a decision we've got to go get on their time zone so we had our first beer at 7 30 oh, a.m by the pool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I finished at 3 a.m this morning oh so we is in who uh john's yeah hindmarsh yeah gallon yes wade graham jimmy graham and brayton astor weird gang Yep. But, uh, yeah, yeah we, we got it done. We got the job done. Gal sends beers, but he, he just he, he just off the back fence on those uh, JD and Cokes, isn't he? And that's, that's his go. What's his middle uh, name? Yeah, yeah. What's his middle name, Brian? Yeah, he loves it. He got, yeah, he gets the doubles. But it's the free pour. We discussed this, I think, last week, how there is just no RSA. Nah. The RSA is RA, as in rat's ass. Mm. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. Here. Have you had to do much work today? <laughs> uh, we just had to do a... We had to do a um, uh, it's a show called Teams, which was come on after NRL 360. Right. Which, but I mean, other than that, we didn't have to do any. Had a bit of a kip, and now we've got a cocktail party. Oh, Peter Valandis has got a cocktail party on. Yeah, uh, good. Hey, Brian, uh, um, you were here on Monday when we we I spoke about those uh, blokes from Dubbo and how you know the hide audacity for them to to be on the source in Dubbo to go to Sydney that night, be on the source there, and have seven nights in Vegas. And they've bumped you in uh, in uh, Vegas, is that right? Yeah, we bumped her in the Venetian. Yes. What a cracking joint that is. Oh. There's gondolas just floating around everywhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I read in all about, yeah, last night. They're the Zelly and the boys from Gilgandra. There's yes, a million it. of them. There's a million people here from Gilgandra, I've noticed. How's They're it going to go? Town, but How's it the Yanks go? are getting around it. Are they? Yeah, it's on, like, we've got all the billboards, but we're... Uh, the NRL have bought ads on the local radio station. So they have two two uh, rugby league ads every hour, which I thought was pretty good all day. Today and tomorrow. Yeah. Well, they've had the, the, the big Gronk. He's, uh, I've seen him doing some stuff here on ESPN. Big uh, Rob Gronkowski, a NFL tight end. He's been pumping it up a, a bit of footage, but... What's what's been the I, I watch your stuff on the um, on the footy show uh, on Fox, mate. What's 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 the funniest thing or the most outrageous thing you've done so far, and and what else have you got planned? Are you talking about when we were here six weeks ago? That one, yes. That that was um, yeah. Well, that, that that was. I don't think we'll get as loose as that again because <laughs> uh, my wife's here. Yeah. Um, okay. And and. Um, no, we're just here because we've got, we got a show on Friday. I'm playing golf tomorrow, actually, at a joint called Wolf Creek. Oh, be My goodness. Oh, that's if, good. If, listen up. Uh, for the listeners, Google Wolf Creek. Have a look at this golf course. It's in the middle of the desert and it just pops up. Uh, so I've got that tomorrow. We've got a show Friday. And then we've got Ludacris on Saturday. So it's not too bad, Brian, is it? It's not too bad a schedule. No, it's good. Yeah. It's good, but you just got to take. I went. To, I got first night fever, like yeah. really badly. <laughs> you know how you just get. Yeah, so you know exactly. how it just gets holier, and you said you're just yes. going to drink beer and not spirits. Yeah, a lot of tequila at eight thirty a.m. So, round the grounds, Britt Fletcher, Trish Johns, how are they holding up? Oh yes, yeah, so they're in LA for four days. Yeah, and so they're a bit dusty, I think, because <laughs> Britt. This is the first time my wife ever and her, I've ever heard her say. Oh, I might just have a quiet one tonight. Oh, so yeah. the girls got up to mischief, I'm, I'm thinking. They were yeah. in LA. They went to Venice Beach. Uh, 
uh, went down to Gold's Gym, all that bizzo. So you're, are you confident? They actually, they actually, Britt said to me, she goes, I met the loveliest human I've ever met in my life. And I said, who's that? She goes, Tim Minner. Oh. So they were at a restaurant in LA and I was, Timmy was sitting next to Britt and he said, he said, he can't be a rugby, rugby league player. He's so polite. And I said, yes, <laughs> I know. It's, but uh, he's, he's, uh, he's uh, one of a kind. Old uh, team Anna. She hasn't met Carl Faze yet, Brian. Hasn't met Carl Faze. Ah, oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Faze's here. Is I he? I saw Faze at Honeybee's last night, yeah. <laughs> hey, tell me, um, Brian. Which is a restaurant, mind you. It's nothing. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, 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 no. I understand that. Uh, a vegan house restaurant. of repute. Yeah, yes. Hey, can I ask you, um, so do you, you were there before, which was sort of a, a, a genuine work to, uh, and it's shown because of how well Sin City went. But being around the traps, are you feeling like a certain vibe toward the game? Like, are you quietly confident that they've nailed this? Uh, I'm quietly confident there will be 60,000 people. 60? There's a lot of, uh, yeah, I think they'll get 60,000. I was wow. talking to a group. So there's a group of Americans who, so rugby union is, is big here. Well, not big. I'm saying there, there is a rug, rugby yes, union. Yes, there's a presence. Yep. And. They are coming to this game, and they were actually saying, "Look, we like like we obviously play rugby union, but when we watch the NRL, we're, we're jealous because we want a game that flows." And this has come from an American. Well, wow. even they realise that, yeah, even they realise that the games, and they watch all they watch all the games. So, uh, Reese Walsh is, as you as you could probably imagine, being uh, promoted around here quite mm. quite a lot. He's doing all, a lot of um, media work. Um, I'm confident that. We've got to put on a good show, and I think the referee has to show that. Yep. Because as Sugar and I we were discussing, we were talking about the narrowing of the field. So five metres is a lot. Like that is, That's basically two defenders. So yep. you can imagine throwing two more defenders on, on on a normal size field. So hopefully the ref keeps them apart, and they can we can showcase you know the the full well, yeah just the fullbacks alone. On, yeah. On either side, it's. They're the uh, they're going to be the stars of the show. Okay, go, we'll let you go soon, Brian. But just real quickly, so and, and you're a humble bloke anyway. But yourself and Maddie and Hindy are getting around and, and really known only by the Aussie fans, right? So, is there that bigger presence of the Aussies, which almost every casino you amble through, you're going to bump into somebody who's aware of you guys being in town? Well, not last night. A lot of Aussie, a lot of Aussies are coming today and tomorrow. Yep. But I was surprised at how many. English are here. Like there's a there's a Wigan tour, there's a St Helens tour. There's, wow. I ran into yeah, some Warrington right. guys today. Yeah, so the north of England are going to have a big rep- rep- representation. I, I'm thinking there might be a couple thousand, probably more, coming uh, from from the north of England. <laughs> hey Brian, you you lock it in, right? So and I don't, don't even know if there's markets on this. There probably isn't, but the, there's a Masters like a World Cup type thing happening over there where Australia is taking on England and, and America, I think, is there as well. And and uh, the boys who Brian met the Chris Waller of the Golden West, the trainer out there, yeah. hey, so he sent me a photo and they're all doled up in their polo shirts for the Australian Masters team. And he reckons inside the casino, he's got a photo of he, what he claims to be the halfback having an up and under in the casino. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he yeah. said, load up on the uh, the opposition. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, you you know what? You probably could get on here because, yeah. as you know, it's the gambling mecca. Oh. So there, there would be someone, there'd be a bookie here for sure yep. able to get on. Do we know how the combine went? I think, is that gone yet? Oh, I don't know. Do you know if it's been... No. That, that's what nah. you were sent over for. <laughs> yeah. You're Next week. Yeah, I, I, like miss, a... I miss that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I miss them. Mr. Memo. I thought Carl, that was Carl's job. The Finding Memo. Oh, Carl. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, uh, finding Memo. So, so Fletch, um, can I ask you this? Um, is there somebody who's just got, I know you've said yourself, your first night fever, but is somebody in a world of pain right now? <laughs> right now. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, it's Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. Um, well, he doesn't drink spirits. He doesn't drink spirits. So we're at this joint called. Uh, uh, it was a nightclub in, in – yeah, we went to a nightclub and it was in the Venetian. Mm. And we were sitting around the table. It was me, John's, Hind, Marsh. But then we had some of the some of the grouse journos, the Reeds, yep. uh, the Websters, yep. the Roth, uh, Rothfield. Yeah. And I found this giant chalice. It was on the wall. <laughs> and we made this concoction of drink. But it was like, we had, it was like a bit of a carver ceremony. You had oh. to sit around and you had to <laughs> – you had to make a speech. You had to make a speech <laughs> before you drank it. <laughs> and, and Bo 
buzz just went, oh, I don't drink. I don't drink that. Fletchy, I'm red wine. I said, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll add that to the we'll add that to the mix as well. So uh, that was at about uh, that was about one a.m. this morning. Oh buzz, yuck! Buzz took off, but uh, Buzz is around. He's got his cam- camera out. Yep. He's just desperate for us. Oh, for a scoop, for a scoop. So yeah. Well, Brian, mate, very scoop kind, very kind of you share. So what are we? We're approaching nine o'clock over there in the, at Vegas. Nine o'clock. Yeah. Nine o'clock. We're at, it's, this resorts world's unbelievable. So it's there's four hotels in here, but it's Fantastic. So this and we're is, a bit out of town. I can, I can see why the NRL have done it. So this is night number two, is it? This is night number two. Night number, night number two. two. I think. But we, I'm not. I'm, I'll be in bed by. I'm going to be in bed by eleven because I've got this uh, Wolf Creek. I don't, oh, I don't okay. That. All right, we'll hit him. Beast well. those. Beast those in from New Orleans. So H- how's beast he going, the beast? Uh, yeah, he's going all right. He was dirty, that, and I'm dirty. My horse. I've got a share in this horse called Sacred Delago, and it won. At Scone on the weekend at fifty to one. Oh, and I, I forgot it was on because we, we it cost us a thousand bucks this horse. Whatever. Oh, it's mate, legless. I'll, it was legless. I'm going to give you. I don't know how it's won. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> whilst you're over there, I'm going I'm to give you a couple of bets for the footy, Brian. So first one is uh, Tommy Turbo to to score and Manly to wins about four bucks. What are you really gambling with? The reason I say it, Fletch, the last twenty games that Manly have won with him, he scored thirty five tries. Right. Yeah, so he's a hog. He's, he's a, a hog. He's a hog. <laughs> and the other but one is sugar. You'll be yeah, go sugar, on. You'll be happy to know that uh, I threw your question to McInnes, who's on the coaching staff. Cola could be seen playing a little bit of fullback. Oh, okay, okay, a bit of hybrid stuff. You beauty. So, so get around that. Toyota hybrid. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Hyundai hybrid. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brian. <laughs> Good on you, boys. Good on you, mate. Strong. See you there first. we go. Good on you. What a champion. Uh, chiming in the back. Line this so late over there at Vegas, night number two. I'd be just oh, desperate for bed at this stage, but he's machine. The run home with Joel and Fletch.